we have around 100 inflatables. Wow, that's amazing. Oh wow, man, it's okay. I got some more here. <laughs> yes. What sets them apart from the other rental companies and not choose somebody else? three things that you think every party rental company needs to know. Because the more time we have, the more we can deliver, and the more money we make. Hi everybody, Bridget with Jump Orange here, and today I'm with Isaiah and Milton from Leaping to Fun in St. Cloud, Florida. We're gonna be following them around today for a day in the life. They're going to be dropping off the Cali Palms combo, the Imperfectly combo, and the Purplish Bounce House. So we're really excited. Thank you guys so much for having us out. You're welcome, you're welcome. Our I pleasure. Ac I actually love the branding on your shirts, thank and you. I love the truck. The wrap looks so good. Thank you, thank you. How uh, many years have you been in business now? Seven years. We bought, a, we bought out a company that was running for 12 years already. So we just took over after that. That's awesome. That's a great way to get started because they've already got like plenty of accounts yep. and the right equipment and everything to get started. Right. And then uh, now, how many trucks do you have and how many trailers? We run two trucks, two trailers mostly. Okay. And how um, many inflatables? We have around 100 inflatables. Wow. That's amazing. That's actually the most inflatables that uh, any of our clients for these interviews have had. So <laughs> pretty awesome to see what a larger company is doing. So come on, walk with me. Let's talk a little bit more. <laughs> so what are some of the top like three tools that you're gonna load into your trailer to bring onto the job? We need a hammer, that's for sure. Okay, the stakes. Uh, what kind of hammer? Do you use a metal one or a rubber one? Metal, we use metal. Yeah? Yeah, these grounds are hard and uh, we try using the rubber, but when you have that hard ground- Like limestone yeah, or it's something? Gonna, you can still get it down, but why? Yeah, it's kind of like the electric dolly. Like, right, We right. want the real stuff. I'll replace the stakes later. Yep, we'll towels, water for sure. Lots of water, energy drinks maybe, or oh, like yeah. some kind of electrolyte with you. Yeah, that's a, that's a plus. Well, thank you so much. Let's get on the road. I know you guys are eager to get out there. Let's do it, have fun. <laughs> All right, everybody, follow us to the first stop. All right. Hey, so we're at our first stop here today, and uh, Isaiah, I know you've got one of your loyal customers here. Yeah, how are you doing? Oh, good, man. Well, we found them many years ago, probably two properties back. So when wow. we lived on the other side of town, we rented for our kids about 16 years ago. So. 16 years ago? Yeah, wow, I you. love that you keep renting from them. What sets them apart from the other rental companies to make you keep coming back to them and not choose somebody else? Uh, small, family-owned business. Mm -hmm. They're local. They're insured for our town. Yes. And they're readily available when we need them. Uh, great customer service so far. We haven't had a problem. Sometimes they end up with the rent bounce house for the weekend. So it's kind of nice that uh, you get that extra perk every now and again if you're lucky. But, you know. I appreciate it. I think it's, let's it's, make it's this a good Google review, pain, right? So Thank you so much for talking with us. Like, we really appreciate this. <laughs> let's let Isaiah get set up. All right, Milton, you ready? Thank let's you. go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so what brand Dolly do you guys have? GFT. And you have three of them. I got three of them. The same brand, right? Same brand, won't change it for nothing. I know there's so many brands out there, it's hard for me to know like who to recommend. So right, I always right. like to hear from our clients on what they're using. Do you remember when you purchased your first Jump Orange inflatable? Uh, which one? Oh, I can't remember, I think. Do you remember, Milton? Which one was it? We ended up buying first a lot of used ones. And yeah. I was like, no, hold on. This is great. Let's buy some new ones. And I'm thinking when we started buying new, you guys were the first ones we bought new from. That's awesome. It's good to start out with some used units, like learn how to use them, save more on your overhead, make right, more right. profit. How often though now are you buying new units, would you say? For the past two years, three years, we bought new every year. Yeah. But the plan is to sit tight this year and um, maybe buy more next year. Totally. But we still have some Jump Orange units that we pre-ordered. We should get in a month or two, maybe. Hey, do you go over any safety uh, information with your clients, or what do you do to make sure you're really safe when setting up your blowers and your electrical cords? All right, we start with the measurements. Before I was going to deliver this bounce house, I asked the customer if he has clearance for the inflatable. Why? Because we need three, at least three feet of clearance all around. As you see, we're a little tight. Ideally, that blower should be straight. It's a little narrow, but it's just because of the space that we have. But where it is, it's safe, all right? Now the cord, we put it around the, the yard for safety issues. 
Why you don't want no kids tripping? That's the reason we tie it like this. So when somebody trips, it won't unplug and the bounce house turns off and there's kids in there jumping, all right? So that's a must, a why not to do. Maybe tell us a little bit about how much, when you do buy one, about how much it costs. All right, um, like you said, when we took over the company, it came with a lot of banners. So we was like, why not use them? It is a good catch for the customer. A lot of people decide to go with us because we have those options. All right, so it's great that Jump Orange has those banner options because all we got to do is, yep, there you go. <laughs> I do charge, I didn't used to, there used to be free. Uh, but now because we bought a lot of units, you know, we charge $25 more for the banner. And nobody says no because we have what they want. And you can do all kinds of banners. You can get them screen printed. There's a lot of different locations. Right. If you guys ever need any uh, assistance in trying to find a place that can do man that for you, please let us know. We'll be glad to uh, establish you with someone, uh, one of our personal contacts with Jump Orange that has done a great job. What's another, also great is that we have, with all of our units, we have little advertising pockets. Right. Um, I noticed you cleaned your unit. And, right. Uh, you forgot to take out your cards. <laughs> we got this one a little sticky. Yeah. What do you do about that? Oh, man, it's okay. I got some more here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Well, it's, remember, always come prepared. Always have your cards. And banners can be a great, easy upgrade to any purchase that you have. That word, you get to make a little bit more money, and it, it doesn't cost you very much, and it's a one and done. You buy the banner, you get one that says happy birthday, congratulations, all these kind of banners, and you can put them on any of our 13 by 13s or any of our combos, and you'll be set to go. Nice. So what month would you say is like the official start of your busy season? So I would say a week before Easter too, that's when it starts picking up, and then Easter, it just keeps blowing up yeah that's why we try to do the setups as fast as we can because the more time we have the more we can deliver and the more money we make yeah and you said in the busy season like how many do you do on a saturday we usually do all our deliveries um the day before like the saturday parties on friday okay yeah so we got two trucks maybe doing 12 15 each and then we just leave like four or five on a saturday nice and then maybe four or five on Sunday. But you could have potentially like 25 rentals happening. Oh yeah, for sure. We average on busy season around 30, 35 deliveries on a weekend. What's your most uh, popular Jump Orange unit? Oh wow, last year it was the Mermaid one. Really? Oh man, that was our uh, the hottest one. Now this one took over. That we saw that one and we got this one and this one's taking over. A lot, a lot of people love it. Yeah, the rainbow part, the colors. What's your favorite part about owning a party rental business? I would say freedom, peace of mind. You don't got to work a nine to five, worrying about you have to be here at a certain time. We make our own time. We do what we want, honestly. As long as we take care of the customer priority, number one, and we're there on time. Everything else is just easy. Yeah, you set your schedule, you set your prices, you decide if you're going to take the job or not. Yeah, like today, this event is for a tomorrow party. So we do it today, no rush. I Get try it not done. To be on a rush. Get it done, no rush. Let them enjoy it a little longer. Enjoy it, test drive it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think is the worst part about owning a party rental business? Oh, when you have 30, 40 parties and you have standards, I think the worst part is, not the worst, the hardest part is to keep those standards. Yeah. To Make sure your team is in, everybody in the same page. And that's just in the beginning. Right now, it's, it gets easier. What are like three things that you think every party rental company needs to know? First, they need a software, a rental software. Yes. It makes your life a lot easier. We have ERS and they've been good with us. So that's number one. I guess second, you gotta know where to promote your business, how to do it. So don't be afraid of spending money on advertisement because you will get a return. Yeah, right? you, you have to invest money to make money, you right? You gotta invest money to make money. Yeah, and um, just take care of your customers, whatever you, happens. Yeah, customer service number one, right? Yep. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Isaiah. This You're has welcome. been a pleasure. Milton, come on over and say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching us. <laughs>